Hi everybody, this is Agnes from No Sediment and today we're going to talk about why size matters when you're choosing a bottle of champagne. New Year's Eve is around the corner and for me there is no better way to welcome a new year than with a beautiful glass of champagne in your hands. In this video I will tell you why you should choose a magnum-sized champagne bottle to make the celebration even more special. You might have noticed that champagne and many other sparkling wines as well as still wines come in different sized bottles. For sparkling wines these are, and I hope I pronounce them right, mini or baby, half bottle, standard bottle, magnum bottle, Jerobom, Metosela, Salamanazar, Baltazar, Nebuchadnezzar, Sovereign, Prima and Melchizedek. And maybe you have also noticed an increased interest in Magnum bottles, which is 1.5 liters or equivalent of two standard sized bottles. So what is so special about champagne and other sparkling wines in Magnum sized bottles? First, half bottle regular bottle and magnum bottle, they all have the same neck size and the same sized cork. And that means that the same amount of oxygen is penetrating in the bottle regardless of the size. And because of that, magnum sized bottles will develop and oxidize much slower than regular sized bottle, 0.75, and even slower than 0.375 bottle, which is half bottle here. The next space or ouillage is also less for larger amount of wine. So if you are a wine collector with specifically taste for champagne, magnum size is the one to invest in. Secondly, the unique thing about the champagne is that it must be sold in the very same bottle in which it underwent the second fermentation. I will make a more detailed video on champagne winemaking process, but for now it's important to know that second fermentation is the process when still wine becomes bubbly. In case of champagne, the second fermentation happens in sealed glass bottle where yeast ferments the sugar. When all the sugar has been fermented, yeast will precipitate. Champagne can be aged on these yeast lees for a very, very long time. And the popular belief is that the longer it stays on this yeast sediment, the more complex it becomes and acquires notes of dough, freshly baked bread and brioche. But let's move back to bottle sizes and why Magnum is so special. The law requires that all champagnes must go through second fermentation in the very same bottle that we buy and hold in our hands later. But to do the second fermentation in baby-sized bottles or larger formats such as Metosella or Baltazar is very expensive and labor-intensive. Therefore, winemakers are allowed to transfer this newly effervescent wine into much smaller size or much bigger sized bottles after the second fermentation has happened in the original bottle. Magnum and Jerobom, standard sized bottle and half bottle are the sizes that we know for sure have gone through the second fermentation in the same bottle that we have here. Winemakers also argue that second fermentation in the magnum sized bottle is more effective because yeast has more surface in contact with wine, creating livelier champagnes. But some say that champagne from a magnum bottle simply tastes better. It has a touch of magic and mystery about it. So why you should be choosing magnum sized champagne bottle for this New Year's Eve or other celebrations. I already talked about some technical things and advantages of this bottle size and if Magnum bottle tastes better, it certainly looks better as well. Magnum champagne adds to a feeling of celebration, it makes event 
extra bubbly and extra special. And remember, you do not need to have a larger crowd to enjoy a larger sized bottle. Because Magnum bottle is perfect size for two for dinner, especially if one of them is not drinking. I wish you a happy new year and if you want to make your celebration extra special, you can watch my next video how to open bottle of champagne with Sabre.